Hi everybody, I'm Kelly Wright and this is America's Hope and with me is a young man who's proving that hope prevails. Isaiah, tell them your name please. My name is Isaiah Henderson. And Isaiah is part of a fantastic program called the Midtown Educational Foundation based right here in Chicago. Now the reason why we're dressed like this, and you look very dapper by the way, I love the bow tie, you're rocking it really nice. The reason why we're here dressed like this is because tonight is their annual fundraiser uh, and it's a wonderful event and they raise a lot of dollars that go to meet the needs of so many young people, boys and girls, and provides them with the mentoring programs that happens year round. Well, you're a part of that, you're an alum of that. Tell me what it was like growing up Midtown. Um, as a kid, I didn't want to go because, you know, a 13 year old, you don't want to be around like all dudes, you know, okay. every day during your summer. And what, you don't want to see the girls? Right, you don't want to, <laughs> like, I didn't want to be in a classroom either. But like, now that I'm older, I see that it, it helped me in a way. Because now, like, I've developed respect for women. Like, that's the slogan. But on a deeper level, it helped me appreciate um, being intelligent. Okay. Wanting to get good grades. Because, you know, where I'm from, a lot of people, they don't really care about their grades. And I was placed in a school that stressed the emphasis of doing better. So Midtown helped me see, like, like what it is to become a man. Because I had men role models placed upon me. That's amazing. That's quite a statement. You grew up and now you respect women. You don't mind being intelligent, which is a good thing. And you were with men who were able to be solid role models and mentors for you. When you were growing up, what, did, what, what were you exposed to in your neighborhood? Um, I grew up on, like, on the west side of Chicago where I couldn't go to the store. Like, my parents didn't allow it because there was always a chance of something bad happening to me. So, um, yeah, I just didn't live in a good environment. You live in a good environment. But Midtown helped pull you out of that environment to yeah, I didn't expose wanna, you to other things that were positive. I didn't want to, going to Midtown made me not want to be on the corner, you know? Okay. Like, I eventually wanted, looked forward to going to Midtown to catch up with my friends again. Nice. And what are you doing now? Um, I'm a freshman at USC. Um, I received a scholarship, the Dan Jordan Scholarship. Uh, I'm a business major, and um, I'm, I would say I'm doing good. I'll say you're doing good. To come from, look, here's the deal. I, I came from the hood. I grew up in a small town, uh, Hagerstown, Maryland, and uh, my family wasn't wealthy, and, but my family, my single parent mother and my grandmother always instilled in me a sense of value um, and I didn't have a midtown and I think if I had a midtown maybe I would have gone even further but the point is they were there the point is for you they were there for you too your parents uh, and your your midtown peers as well as your mentors so what do you aspire to be now that you're moving on you're in college and you're studying business um, I wouldn't say I feel pressured but I just know failing is not an option at this point because, um, I mean, I, I received a $10,000 scholarship and I know there are people in the world that would love to have that and I don't want to take that for granted um, and mess it up for somebody else. Like, I don't, I feel like I have to do this, even for me, because I want to be comfortable, you know, living yeah. a luxurious life, I mean, life. And um, the only way I can do that is if I stay in school. Midtown also teaches your mind, body, and spirit, the whole person concept, which means they don't mind telling you about God. How does God factor into the equation of Isaiah becoming successful? Um, God is like the staple, you know. He made us. Um, he allows, he puts blessings in our life, like the scholarship, like Midtown. So I would say God plays a big role. When you open up your first business, uh, I'd like to be one of your customers. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you choose to do. All right. I'd like to be one of your endorsements. Uh, his name is Isaiah, my name is Kelly, and he represents America's Hope and does it so well. God bless you, man. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Okay. I'm Kelly Wright. You've been watching America's Hope News. Peace out.